Hey folks, this is Kalani. Before too long, you'll have your shiny new artifact in hand, but you're going to need to fill that baby up with a whole lot of artifact power before it's really going to help you out. So where can we get our hands on this artifact power? A better question would be, where can't you get artifact power, as it comes from pretty much any sort of gameplay, including dungeons and from battleground rewards. I'm going to give you a few hints and tips to get the most artifact power possible so you can unlock all your traits as quickly as you can. The first thing you need to make sure you're doing is in your class hall. This isn't going to net you any power directly, but trust me when I say you need to stay on top of this specific work order. This is your artifact knowledge research work order, and don't worry about having to find it in your class hall because you'll get a quest which takes you directly to it. Just remember where it is after you've been shown. It's going to steal a good chunk of your order hall resources to keep these work orders going, and they take a long time. They start at five days, if I remember correctly, but will get progressively faster as time goes on, regardless of what level your research is at, that is time based instead of research level based. That means if you join the game a few months later or decide to play your alts more seriously, the time required for that first and subsequent work orders won't be 5 days, it will be much shorter so you can catch up much faster. This artifact knowledge increases the artifact power you earn from most sources, and it does so exponentially. So, where you earned 1 to 200 for a world quest, it'll get to the thousands at a time, and then tens of thousands and even higher as you keep researching. Make sure you keep on top of it, otherwise you'll be missing out no matter how much time you spend farming. So, let's look at where you get the actual artifact power. The first source is leveling. Every story quest chain you complete is going to reward you a good chunk of artifact power, meaning you should be completing all the quests you can find, and you'll need to anyways because you need their reputation. You'll also come across rares and events while leveling, and it's my suggestion to just pick these up and use them as you get them. There's much more rewarding ways to farm later on, and getting to your first golden trait is going to be a huge power boost. So that's pretty straightforward. Complete all your quests, and complete all the rare events that you come across. When you hit max level, you want to unlock world quests. To do so, you'll need a bit of reputation with pretty much everybody in Legion, but if you don't skip too many quests, you should automatically have that by 110. After unlocking the world quests, you're going to see quite a few will reward good amounts of artifact power. You want to knock these out as they come up, as some will only be active for a few hours, and others will last for days. Completing all the quests that reward artifact power is a good first step, and then finishing off the daily emissary quest by completing a few more world quests wouldn't hurt either, as they too reward a good amount of artifact power as well as pieces of gear. When you run out of world quests to farm for artifact power, it's time to take yourself into dungeons. You can do normal or heroic, but I'd say try stick to heroic whenever possible. You can clear out Mythic Dungeons too if you're up to it, but remember you can only do those once per week, making it less than ideal for non-stop farming. Heroic Dungeons reward you some artifact power for your first random heroic completed, reward artifact power for every boss you kill, and there's even a chance for artifact power tokens to drop from pretty much anything in the dungeon, meaning you're always guaranteed at least some artifact power, but if you get super lucky you can get a massive amount from a single dungeon. And that's pretty much it. While you can get artifact power from plenty of other sources, your world quests seem to be the biggest source, and then the heroic dungeons seems to be the fastest repeatable source. So keep your research going, finish any world quests that award artifact power, then head into dungeons. I hope you all know some tank friends. Just in case you didn't know, to fully unlock all 34 traits in your artifact weapon, you're going to need 5.2 million artifact power. That's going to be a lot of heroic dungeons, and that's just the one artifact. And that's the fastest way to get your hands on artifact power at launch. Now, if you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments section below, and I'll try to get back to you. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching, folks. Good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.